Hello everyone, Human Hard Drive here. Today, going to be talking about Electronics 210, which is a new series I'm starting along with Electronics 110. This is a more formally based lecture series for Electronics 201, the digital electronics series. So, like Electronics 111 or 110, this is going to have a much more linear, much more um, focused progression from one topic to the next. So, today's video is just going to outline the syllabus as to what we're going to be discussing. Always good to discuss what we're going to be discussing. So, first thing we're going to talk about is different bases, different numbering systems, i.e. binary, which is obvious, uh, hex, and octal. I'm going to be talking uh, about, this is just for the first section, uh, binary addition and subtraction and then binary multiplication and division and this just lays the groundwork for everything else we're going to be talking about throughout the course so that's the introductory section then we're going to move straight into combinational logic. So we're going to be talking about you know the gates and or not XOR all those things. So we're going to talk Carnot maps. We're going to talk De Morgan reductions and Boolean algebra. And then we're going to look at a couple topics for these things, a couple applications, such as adders and subtractors, and multiplexers. Multiplexers, probably spelled that wrong. And parity circuits, that's uh, like error generation circuits. Then the final section we're going to talk about is sequential logic. So this is things like registers, flip-flops, flip-flops, and other sort of clock-driven circuits that uh, they're, well, they're sequentially based. So we'll learn what that means, and we're going to talk about uh, state machine analysis, and then state machine synthesis and then we're going to talk about applications of these such as shift registers and timers and that's pretty much the course that I have laid out thus far so this should be quite a healthy amount of topics to cover. This should go for quite a while. Requirements. What are you required to under uh, to already know to understand this class? Really, not a lot of math. There's no math in this. Just basic addition and subtraction. You should be able to do that. You should be able to uh, think... I know this is kind of obvious, but you should be able to think logically, because we're going to be talking almost entirely an and or and not so you should be able to be able to think in terms of that and it's going to help a lot in uh, come boolean algebra think logically and that's pretty much it not math no math just really just addition and subtraction and being able to think logically that's all you're really going to need now like electronics 110 I am going to try to have some homework for each topic so that's for each lecture. And again, there are going to be worked solution videos. And I'm going to say this again. I know I'm probably asking for trouble doing a homework thing. 
Specifically, I'm probably going to get a lot of people trying to send me questions. Um, I'm not going to be able to respond to every single question you have regarding questions I give you. I will ask that you kind of try and work through it yourself, try and find other solutions, but this is a big but. <laughs> if you are absolutely stuck and you cannot find anything and you do not understand my solution in any way, then you can send me an email. Leave me a comment. If you do that, I ask that you don't just send me a very vague, very vague email saying, I have this question, I have this problem with question number two. I'd need to see what you have worked, where your question is, make sure it's clear, get a good photocopy, get a good picture of it, whatever. I need to be able to see what your thought process was and where you're getting stuck. Because only then am, am I going to be able to help you understand this. So, I think if that all works together, this should be a pretty good series. Hopefully this answers a lot of questions that people have had, and this should help educate people as to digital electronics. So, I'm excited to get this series started. So, I'm Human Hard Drive. Thanks for watching.